Now, uh, if you're going to do the, the finger, all you do is you pretty much do the same thing, except you don't use this cap. Okay, I'm going to take that one away, and this is the cap you're going to use. All right, so it's a dark cap. Okay, same thing. So um, the areas to, to um, test is your fingers would be, um, what they recommend is, is on the sides of the finger, right? And so the reason why that's the case um, is because the nerves run right down the middle of your fingers, usually the most, and then the sides have the least. So uh, those areas would probably be the least painful. Now, although I have had some patients say, you know what, the sides are really painful and the middle is actually better. And so I think it's just individual. Um, some people just have more nerves on the side or they just feel that the side is a little bit more sensitive than the middle. So I say test around and see where you are, uh, but it's real simple. You just uh, go there, you hit the button, boom, right? And then you squeeze. Uh, the best, best thing to do is if you have circulation problems, um, keep your fingers below your heart. That's the first thing, okay? Uh, the other thing is so that your heart is, is helping it push uh, out the blood. The other thing is, um, uh, um, you know, if you, if you wash your hands, wash them in, in some warm water. That'll increase circulation as well. But the easiest way to do that is just go from the back to the front and then, you know, you don't want to do this. You want to just go back, front, and then just press. And you can see my fingers, see how red it gets? And uh, so you go like that, and then you can just press, you know. That's the easiest way. And then you'll get some blood, and then put your meter exactly the same way up, up against there. And, um, and, uh, and get your reading. Real simple. Again, you just put that in there. Wait until it tells you that it's ready, just like that. And then you want to bring it up against the blood until it beeps, beep, and then it'll give you a result. Okay? Real simple when it comes to the fingers. Okay? So that's how it works. Um, now, one of the things I wanted to go over was the advantage of this meter. Um, obviously, the size is an advantage. It's a very small meter, so that's a, that's a good thing. Um, the other thing is um, it uses the smallest amount of blood. Now, uh, it uses uh, uh, th three microliters. Um, you know what? Uh, is it three microliters? I believe it's three microliters. I'm going to have to make sure. Yeah, I believe it is three microliters. And um, 0.3 microliters. There you go. I'm sorry. 0.3 microliters uh, for, uh, for this uh, meter. I should know. And it's pretty remarkable, you know, I, um, I test with this and sometimes I'm pretty amazed about how much, I mean the dot of, uh, sometimes my hands are so cold or something and, and I don't get that much blood uh, and I, I take it up against there and I'm thinking, gosh, you know, it's not going to be enough blood, but it gives me a reading, so it's pretty remarkable how much blood this thing takes. So again, 0.3 microliters is what it takes. Very, very, very small amount, so it's nice. And, and for that reason, uh, alternate site testing works really well on this meter because if you do in the palm of the hand or the back of the arm or anywhere like that, uh, you may not get enough blood. And uh, this will actually take a small amount of blood, so that's nice. Um, it, um, it has, uh, like all the other, other meters, it has memory, uh, maybe not as much as the other ones, uh, but it does have uh, its own memory. It has a downloadable port, you see that on the side there, okay? And uh, that'll get downloaded into a computer if you have the software and the uh, and the cable. Now you can get the software. I think you can download it off the internet, but uh, the cable you'll have to purchase. Um, uh, I don't think it's too expensive. I'd say it's probably under twenty dollars for that. Uh, the other thing uh, that's nice about this meter is um, it's got a light. That's pretty cool. I, I've actually used it a couple of times, and I'll show you that here. So if I take a test strip and put it in there. Okay. I'm going to turn off the, the backlighting here so that you can actually see the light. Okay. So it's going to go a little dark. Okay. And see that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So there's a little light that you actually have uh, that you use in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, late night testing, um, testing the theater, I don't know, uh, testing in camp, I guess. Somewhere that's very dark, you know. Or you can actually use it for a uh, little key light too, you know, if you're, if you're trying to look for your keys or something. But anyways, um, okay, so that's that's really kind of a cool thing. Uh, but I think the the biggest thing uh, that the biggest advantage for this meter really is the size 
and uh, the sample size. I think uh, that's that's the key. I think with this meter, at least from from my opinion, um, that um, like I said, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm just amazed about how much uh, blood this thing uh, needs, and uh, it gives me a pretty good reading too. So, uh, so anyways, um, so that's the freestyle light meter, and um, the other meter that goes along with this is the freestyle freedom, and I'm going to show you that now. There it is. See, so you can see you can see that there's a huge difference now. Um, obviously, this is nice because it's small. This one's a little bit bigger, um, and then the screen is bigger, and so that's the big difference, really. All right, you can see that the numbers are just much bigger. So, and um, uh, I would say that this meter is probably. I mean, it, it takes the same amount of blood, takes the same test strips, and everything. This meter is really um, uh, compared to this one. Uh, is is for people that maybe have a hard time looking at things, right? And the other thing is that it's bigger, so it, it you can hold it a lot easier. You know, the er ergonomics behind it's nicer, versus this one's kind of small and you know, so so I think that's the biggest difference there, at least in my opinion. Okay, uh, but it's a great meter. Um, uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Now. Um, Again, you know, depending on what your insurance is, it may cover the freestyle, it may cover the other meters that we're going to go over as well. But uh, uh, these are two options that you have, and uh, you know, bottom line is that you do have options, and uh, you should know about all the options and how they work. So this is a little bit of uh, information for you on the freestyle light. Uh, so the next episode, I'll go over a different uh, different meter for you. Um, oh, uh, one more thing. Um, I believe that the freestyle uh, products, uh, well, they're made by Abbott, and Abbott has a, um, uh, they call it a promise program. Very nice program for people that uh, have higher copays and, um, uh, uh, you know, they can't afford it. So what happens is that they actually subsidize a certain portion of your copay, which is kind of nice. And the other companies are now coming out with these too. So uh, as I show you the other ones, I'll let, I'll let you know about them as well. But they do have a uh, what, what they call a freestyle light, uh, or sorry, freestyle promise program. And basically, what it is is that it uh, gives you um, a discount on your, um, or they pay a portion of your copay um, up to a certain amount. But um, on the average, what I've seen uh, as far as um, uh, test strips that uh, that come out of our pharmacy here. Is that it's about fifteen dollar copay, so it's pretty nice. I mean, it brings it down sometimes from fifty to fifteen, uh, which is a huge savings. So, uh, but you got to sign up for it. There is a, a card that has to be uh, activated and things like that. Um, but uh, it's pretty simple to do, and uh, uh, the the card I think is lifetime, so that's kind of nice too. So you really get a good discount uh, off of these uh, off of this meter if you use the program. Uh, if you're uh, if you if you have any more questions about the program, just Put the information. Um, just put a comment on, on the comment box, and I'll get back to you. I'll give you more information about that. But it's a really neat program, and I think it really does help a lot of people out too. Anyways, that's one of the things that uh, that's nice about the free uh, the freestyle. And like I said, the other ones are coming out with them as well. And I think Roche just came out with theirs as well. So it's kind of nice. Uh, helps uh, helps the patients out, especially you know the importance of testing that we went over. And uh, you know if uh, if you're not uh, if you're not testing because it's too expensive for you. Then obviously, um, you know that's a barrier for your health, and so if these programs that uh, that are available help you out, so that'd be good. Okay, so that's it, and um, I will um, I will talk to you uh, on the next episode, and I'll bring another meter out and test it out for you, show you how it works. Okay, thanks for watching, um, MySugarTV.com. This is Tony Song, your host, signing off, and um, and again, testing. Hugs and kisses, as we went over last time. And uh, every time you test, every time you uh, make right choices as far as your medications, your uh, foods, uh, things like that, you're not going to always make a right choice, obviously, and it's kind of tough. But when you do make a right choice, think of it as a hug and kiss for the people that you love, um, because that's what you're doing. You're giving them a hug and kiss every time you do something positive for your diabetes. Anyways, so that is it. Um, have, uh, have a good day, and I will see you next time.